am I reading in March? Stay tuned to find out. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zach with Zach's Books and today I'm going to be recording my March TBR. I'm going to be talking about the books I'm planning to read. Again, as you guys know on my channel, sometimes I change it up. I add books, get rid of books. We're not necessarily get rid of books, just don't get to the books. But I got five books scheduled because as you guys saw in the video we posted either yesterday, a few days ago, the announcement video, some stuff's been going on. I need to try and get back into the groove of things and don't hold me accountable for reading like 30 books. Um, it eventually will happen though. But yeah, that video, we'll put it up here somewhere if you want to check that video out. We got an announcement video and what's been going on and everything. Danielle was in it, so it's exciting. Also down below, don't forget to subscribe to her channel, the podcast, all the other stuff that's down there, bookstagrams and so on and so forth. We'll also post these five books down below if you want to check them out. Otherwise, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into the books. All right, first up is The Twisted Dead by Darcy Coates. So this is book three in the Gravekeeper series. And the first one was The Whispering Dead, which is a really solid book. And then the second one is The Ravenous Dead, or Ravenous Dead, still don't know how to pronounce that. I read that one and it was a really solid story. Darcy Coates just rakes out books nonstop. She is one of my favorite non-Stephen King authors that uh, there is. I will say with this book, because it's a third book in a series, I don't really want to give too much away. So I'm going to read the back of this book towards the bottom here. There's something dark happening in the world beyond most people's vision, and if Kara isn't able to sever the ties between the living and the dead, the chain spirits may not be the only things twisted beyond saving. So... Yeah, book one was a really solid story. It kind of set the plot in detail for what this uh, woman, Kara, can do. Book two kind of like continued off of that. Like, you know, I think she like, her powers like expanded with what she can do with like the dead and stuff like that. And now this one, I don't know what to expect. But again, it's a Darcy Coates book. Uh, it's the third in the series. I still need to read From Below and Gallows Hill. I still have a lot I need to read from Darcy, and it's just, like, aggravating. She just keeps putting, like, three books out a year, and it's just like, mm, just give me some time to catch up. But yes, I'm very excited to get to this book, uh, The Twisted Dead, Darcy Coates. All right, the next one up is kind of a wild card book. It's, I actually don't even really know what the genre is. I think it might be, like, thriller-ish or mystery-ish. I don't really know. It's The Ravaged by Norman Reedus with uh, Frank Bill. First of all, cover looks absolutely phenomenal and so does the spine. So if you don't know, Norman Reedus is the guy from The Walking Dead. He plays Daryl. Probably my favorite character from The Walking Dead from what I did watch. He wrote a book, like an actual book. It's not like a memoir or like, yeah, like a biography or like a non-fiction book. This is literally a book, and I'm pretty excited to get to this because A, it's Norman Reedus, probably one of my favorite like TV characters of all time, and it actually sounds pretty intriguing. I'm just going to read the little blurb on the top because I really don't want to know a whole lot going into this. Also, this like book like feels like amazing. Like, if you don't like want to read the book, just get it to feel it. That sounds weird. I'm going to stop saying stuff like that. So yeah, the little blurb says, This country wasn't built on good, only fought for with good intentions. So, I mean, like I said, I want to go into this not knowing a whole lot, because it's, I really don't know what to expect. I obviously have never read anything from Norman Reedus, and I don't, honestly, I don't know who Frank Bill is, but... I really just want to go into this blindsided and I want to really give it a full on chance and I really don't know what to expect. If you've already read this book, I think this has been out for a little while. Again, getting back into the swing of things, I don't remember release dates for some of these books or whatever. I think this has been out for a little while. We got this at Barnes & Noble, um, which you'll probably see this on a book haul eventually um, when we get around to filming that. But I am very excited to get to this. So there you have. The Ravaged by Norman Reedus with Frank Mill. All right, the next one up is a book I want to read because Danielle and I watched the movie adaptation of this book. 
and I'm pretty intrigued with it. And that is All Things Cease to Appear by Elizabeth Brundage. First of all, the cover looks pretty psychedelic and like pretty weird. This book, as far as I know, is going to be pretty closely related to, what was it called? Um, things Heard and Seen. All Things Heard. It's like all things... Things heard and seen. Yeah, things heard and seen. It's a really weird movie. Uh, it's supposed to be really, really close to how the book is. Uh, pretty much what is going on. Do, 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 do. A dark, riveting, beautifully written book uh, that combines noir and the gothic in a story about two families entwined in their own unhappiness with, at its heart, a gruesome and unsolved murder. So basically, if it's going to be like how the movie was, a father, I think his name is George, comes home to um, his daughter at home alone and his wife murdered upstairs. Um, and pretty much that's all I can say because this is a really weird psychedelic type of book. It kind of, I mean, I don't want to say it kind of gives, like, based off of how the movie was compared to book, it kind of gives me, like, that Gone Girl type vibes, like, it's like a whodunit type of book, and, like, the wife is, well, I mean, the only, di yeah, I, I can't go too much into detail, because they're two thrillers, you don't want to give away too much with thriller books, no duh. Um, but I am excited for this because the movie was pretty good. The ending was, like, weird, though, but whatever. Um, but we're, I'm excited to get to this book. I know Danielle said she might want to try and read this book because she was excited with the movie as well. I mean, I don't know. This is going to be the first book I've read by Elizabeth Brundage as well, so we'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, there you have All Things Cease to Appear by Elizabeth Brundage. All right, the next book I'm going to talk about is actually my king pick. I normally save it for last, but the last book I'm a little bit more excited for, uh, than the king book. Uh, Obviously, I've got plenty of King books I could pick. Uh, for this month, I think it just makes sense for me to go with a collection just to kind of get back into it, even though I just read The Long Walk. But I'm going to go with The Bizarre Bad Dreams. This is his latest collection that I have not read. Um, I know there is uh, If It Bleeds. I read that one already, and I don't think there's another one in between these two. There could have been, but I can't remember it. But this has got... A pretty good amount of stories in it. It's kind of like a night shift one where it's um, more shorter, shorter. Mile 81, The Dune, Your um, Blockade Billy's actually in this. Oh, I read that one already. Um, but yeah, there's a couple in here. Uh, Drunken Fireworks, I hear, is a good one. Um, and Mile 81 are other ones that I hear are pretty good. Um, there's other ones in here that you like, let me know. Um, but there's a good amount in this collection. It's been a while since I've started a new king. I technically started the talisman a little while ago. It didn't get very far and that's kind of when our stoppage with stuff kind of happened. Uh, so I'll probably restart that this weekend. Hopefully get it done. Maybe if not probably start Bizarre Bad Dreams or one of these other books. But yes, I'm very excited to get to this because I want to finish it and I want to read all of his stuff to make the ultimate Stephen King ranking thing I've been wanting to do for a long time. Um, but yes, Bizarre Bad Dreams, Stephen King. That is the King pick of March. All right, the last book I'm going to talk about is a book that's going to be part of a video I'm planning and that is The Passage by Justin Cronin. So, okay, this is going to be pretty psychedelic here to look at. Um, but yes, this book is pretty much, as far as I know, a post-apocalyptic book. This says, in the blurb on the top it says, It happened fast, 32 minutes from one world to die, another to be born. For one world to die, another to be born. So... I want to leave it vague like that because it's, by what I hear, post-apocalyptic. I really wanted to get to this because I had just read Swan Song in January, which, my goodness, I forgot I even did that this year. Um, that's why I want to do this. I also did The Fireman in January. I read a lot of big books in January. My goodness. Um, a big reason why I wanted to do this is because I want to do a ranking video of post-apocalyptic books that I have read. Obviously, I've read a couple of the smaller ones. I have read I Am Legend. 
I have also read um, Bird Box, I think is technically post-apocalyptic. I want to do like big books, like this is a thicker book. Um, I also want to reread The Stand one of these days. Um, because I definitely need to do that. But yes, this is a book that I hear, there's like two sequels off of this book too. Uh, not gonna read those before I do the video. But I wanna get to this, it's a post-apocalyptic book. You know, I've got The Fireman, I've got uh, Swan Song, The Stand. What was the other one I read? There's another big one. Oh, uh, Wanderers. Uh, Wanderers was another one. So this would be five. I also need to read Ray Wayward. Uh, I just have to read a lot of things. I'm way behind because stuff kind of happened. But I'm trying to get back in the swing of things, and I think reading a post-apocalyptic The Passage would probably help set me straight as well with the other four books I got here. So there you have The Passage by Justin Cronin. All right, so these are the five books I'm planning to read in March. Again, subject to change, add, subtract, Whatever ends up working for me. The stack is actually kind of heavy, so I'm going to lower my hand a smidge. We will have these five books linked down below if you're intrigued with any of them. If you have any thoughts or opinions that are spoiler-free on any of these books, let me know in the comments. Again, let me know your thoughts on Bizarre Bad Dreams, some of the stories in there, because I'm intrigued to know what some of them are, if they're good or whatever. What are some books you're planning to read in March? Make sure you let me know down in the comments. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Later.